We're going to try and make the quickest, easiest guacamole and the best you've ever had, starting with actually the main thing is really good, fresh avocados that are ripe. And they're going to have a little give to them. They're going to feel like a, you know, a little bit more firm than a water balloon. But, uh, and these, uh, these were actually perfect when I saw them at the grocery. Uh, just cut them up. Actually, this one might be too ripe. That's probably a little too ripe for this one. But that gives you an example of maybe one that's passable but not. Here's perfect right here. Uh, avocados that look really good. You can just simply score the avocado like this in a diamond shape. And this is so soft it's going to be real easy to pull out of here. You barely, you could pretty much do it with a butter knife here. Just cross hatches. Easy way to get the pit out. Almost falls out if it's, uh, if it's ripe now. Again, diamond shape cuts here. About two avocados should do it. So this is what we have right here. All you got to do is scoop it out right into the bowl. Get all the stuff out of the inside. The really green stuff is probably the best. Scoop it right out. And there's not a lot of ingredients needed for our uh, guacamole. It's really, the best thing is, is just the fresh avocado, real ripe, is going to be the best thing. Some salt, a little pepper. We've got a couple of different things here as well. Sometimes people like garlic, cilantro, I love cilantro in it, so we'll add some of that. Won't put you through all the chopping of all the different items, but uh, simple avocado right there. Add some onions. Garlic if you like, maybe a little bit, not too much. Lemon juice helps a lot to keep it from going, going brown too fast. A little salt. A little pepper is where a lot of people will just want to stop right there. If you like it a little spicier, a little bit of Jalapeno goes a long way for some people. You can add cayenne pepper if you want, and that makes it a little hotter as well. Tomato is another thing that will keep it from getting too brown on you. So a little bit of tomato, add some good color, and it tastes great in there as well. Some loose dicing of the tomato. You also get the last bit of jalapeno there. Just throw it in. It's almost like a almost like a salad. You need a big heavy chip to work it with and eat it with. But that's about it. Stir it. Use a little fork. You can mash the last bit up if you have some bigger pieces, dices of uh, uh, avocado, but if it's good and right, it's going to pretty much turn into a paste all by itself. Now if you can stand it, you add your salt in there and pepper like we have already, let it sit and let the flavors kind of meld together all by themselves. Give it about a half an hour in the fridge. And that's about the best guac you'll ever have, as long as those avocados are right.